This video is going to cover the topic of dividing fractions. Be sure to put the date at the top and the topic. The essential question for the video will be, how do we divide a whole number by a fraction? Before we start talking about fractions specifically, let's be sure we have the vocabulary for division. When we divide, we have three parts of our equation that we are talking about. Let's take this example, our number sentence 12 divided by 4 equals 3. We take the number 12, right, and we're cutting it into four parts. We're trying to see how many 4s are in 12. In this situation, 12 is what we call the dividend. The dividend is the number we are dividing or breaking up. The 4 is what we call the divisor, the number we are dividing by. I remember that because the doctor does the doctoring, the divisor does the dividing. And the third part here is our 3. The 3 is our quotient or our answer. Right? We know that there are three groups of 4 that fit into the number 12. Let's apply this to fractions now. What if we want to see how many 3 fourths are in the number 6? Our number sentence for this would be 6 divided by 3 fourths equals. And we're going to figure out what that would be. To find my answer this first time, I'm going to use a model. I know I'm starting with 6, so I'm going to draw 6 holes. Our goal is to find out how many three-fourths there are in these six holes. I'm going to start by breaking my holes into these fourths, right? Because I know I'm trying to figure out groups of fourths. Now I'm going to shade in groups of three-fourths at a time because I'm looking to see how many groupings of three-fourths there are in my six holes. You can see here that I have shaded in three-fourths. I'm going to do the same thing here. Three-fourths, 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 and so on. However, I'm not quite done, right? I know that so far I have one, two, three, four, five, six groups of three-fourths, but I have some fourths left over. I have one, two, three more. This is another group. And I have one, two, three more. That's another group. All together, I had my original six groups of three-fourths plus these two more. All together, there were eight three-fourths. I'm going to fill in the rest of my number sentence here. So quotient was eight. Six divided by three-fourths is equal to eight. Let's do another. This time, let's see how many halves there are in 10. I have the story problem that a recipe calls for a half cup of sugar. I have 10 cups. How many batches can I make? Right, so I want to figure out if I have 10 holes, how many groups of one half I have. So I can figure out my quotient. I can figure out how many times one half goes into 10, and I can see how many times I can make my recipe. Again, I'm starting with my model, and I have my 10 holes that represent my 10 whole cups, and I need one half at a time. So I'm going to break these into halves. This time, my divisor is just one half, right? So I don't need to group anything together. I just need to see how many halves there are. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. I can make 20 batches because my quotient was 20. There are 20 groups, 20 halves in my 10 holes. We're going to do one more, and this time we're going to have to do a little work at the end to get our complete answer. This time, my problem reads that I have nine feet of yarn, and I'm going to make bracelets. Each bracelet requires two-thirds of a foot, or two-thirds feet of yarn. 
how many bracelets can I make? So again, I have nine holes. I'm trying to divide it into groups of two-thirds and figure out how many times two-thirds goes into nine. Right? So I have my dividend, my divisor, and I'm working to find my quotient. Let me draw this out. I have my nine holes representing my nine feet of yarn. I need to break this into thirds because I'm looking for groups of two thirds. So I'm going to start by just breaking this up into thirds. I'm looking for groups of two thirds. So I'm going to mark off two thirds at a time and see how many groups of two thirds there are in my nine hole feet. Right? These first ones are pretty easy. I have nine two thirds right away. Then I have these two that I compare together for another group. These two I compare together for another group. These two compare together. And these two compare together. So right now I have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 groups that fit perfectly into my nine holes. And then I have this guy left over. This is an extra third. But I have to be careful here. Remember I wanted groups of two-thirds? Well, one-third is half of the two-thirds I wanted, right? I wanted two-thirds, I only have one, I have half of a group. So I really was able to make 13 whole groups and then I had half of the next group available. Now that's a little tricky, it's something we're going to practice in class. Uh, but I just wanted to show that to you so you can see what happens if it doesn't fit perfectly. Remember that the essential question for this particular video was dividing how we divide a whole number by a fraction. So we'll be working with that in class um, and then we'll be able to explore other types of division with fractions as well.